started. Um, let's create a new file. Let's call this um, index and that one. Okay, cool. So hot. Cause um index at HTML. Um, let's go W3 schools and grab some junk. Some bootstrap. And then we can let's grab this one. So this is what it looks like right now. So we're going to create an include. So we're create a new file. Let's call this guy um, PHP. PHP. Yeah, PHP. And we're doing include index.html. S backside HP and yeah. Um, go host includes so index dot HP. So that's it. Alright, um let's get rid of this guy. So delete yes. And we're gonna create a new file. We're gonna call it header.php, and we're gonna create one called footer.php. So let's um, separate this guy. So let's just this one here. So we all want the head in the head header. Okay. And we want the body to be in the body. So let's just do this here. So let's call this header PHP and footer is put the closing. And um, we're going to PHP include footer PHP. So that is how I separated the code. So should do the same thing. Yeah. Let's do one more. Let's do one more file. Let's do body. Body. PHP. And we'll put everything in the body. And there'll be very little lines of code. Oops. There'll be very little lines of code. So this will be all the entire body. So we'll make it include for the body. So the body. So this will be called the view. We're going to delete this. We're going to delete this. We're going to delete this. We don't need this. And we're going to copy and paste. Apparently, you don't need a semicolon either. We'll call this guy the body. And then we should get the same stuff. So I just clean this up. So if you want to create like another page with this information, then you can just do 3D lines which are importing 3D's files. This is the head. They're all separate files. Should be the same. Nothing is broken. Um, let's go back to the footer. Style equals to align text center save. Oh, should be text align. Let's go to text align. 
and yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. So yeah, so this is the main. This is index.php, which just automatically renders is the first thing when you drop it in. And these are all the separate files that include. So basically, you can break your index files into like separate pieces. Your script can be in separate pieces. And then basically, they could be more modular, like they could be more organized. You could create folders and then just put like where they're located at, like folder name or something. Where is at? So that's basically the include. Since I'm really tired, the explanation is terrible. So you also gotta run your XAMPP server or your PHP server to make this work because this is like a dy dynamic page. And this is a very simple app that separates all your code into different pieces. So usually this will be because like since like styles are always the same, this will always be a header, and then this will be the view, and then the body is actually the view. This usually just changes because you could include this view into like other pages. So you just keep the header, and the body, and then your view can be a, their body can be different files for different pages. It'll be a lot less code because you don't have to copy and paste. All this gibberish in every single index HTML file or every single other HTML file, you just need to do like the include. So it's like very dry and less lines of code. So the whole point of programming is being dry and typing less code to do something. So this is, ends my tutorial. Till next time, guys, and keep on hacking and uh, PHP life. Why am I doing PHP? I'm a JavaScript developer now. Whatevs. Peace.